Hello and a very warm welcome to Belgrade, Serbia, where tonight the magnificent amphitheatre that is the Stark Arena plays host to the semi-final games in the 2022 Turkish Airlines Euro League Final Four. And our second semi-final is the latest edition in one of the most famous fixtures in world sports, El Clasico. The Real Madrid, the most successful club in the history of the competition. Their opponents tonight, FC Barcelona, featuring in their 16th final four, second only to Cesca Moscow. After running through the regular season to finish as standing leaders, they're on a mission to return to the championship game. Gershon Yabuseli for three, and he strings it. Terrific steal, and it springs Gershon Yabuseli off the feed from Sergio Yui. And the first quarter in the first two minutes is the Gershon Yabuseli show. Lapravitala has his shot swatted away by a combination of two former EuroLeague best defenders, Eddie Tavares and Adam Hanger combining. Yeah, that's going to make Pablo Lach a lot happier right now because the bro got to the basket twice already. Fighting for it is Roland Schmitz, comes away with the offensive board in a crowd, kicks it back out to Nikola Miritic who pulls from three and connects from downtown. Nikola Miritic, the newly minted MVP, stroking his first three-pointer of the night. Adam Hanger takes him all the way to the lane and gets him to go. But Brandon Davies drives from the wing and puts Vansan Poiré on the poster with a devastating one-handed dunk. Brandon Davies is playing ball. He loves these big games. In the low post, Denny Tavares with a terrific drop step. Alberto Abalde with his first three-pointer of the night. Well, Nicolatis has lost his footing, but again managed to keep it off oh, the possession and flip it to Nikola Miritic, who buries his third three-pointer of the night. Oh, it's an and one, which is a fantastic finish from Fabian Cozio. Slapped away by Vincent Poirier. Gershon Yabaselli says that's my ball. Wraps it up tight with like a precious possession. Back out to Rui. Lapis acting with his hands. Big screen set by Poirier. What a take to the rack. Oh, it's an alley oop off the glass. Sergio Rui flipping it up with the left. And on clean up duty was Vincent Poirier with the putback. Goes inside to Poirier. Nice catch and a turn and jam. A little bit of payback. Poirier, who just crushed it over the top of Brandon Davies with a two-fisted hammer. Yeah, I mean, you, you, Davies, you're looking for help on the other side, back in the mirror just right now. Fake and drive, then the dish from Palates. Lapro Vitala from downtown. Oh, Corsair got a wide open look at a stumble by La Vita. And great advantage of it. On flows to La Provitola, who drives on deck. What a oh. takeaway from Fabian Cozur! An uncontested layup, and he makes it! Fabian Cozur! Controlling this game at both ends of the floor. What a touch pass! Oh, the feel the ball barely touched the fingertips of Nikola Miritic, and he just flipped it volleyball style to Brandon Davies for the finish on the inside bring his team back to within one, but outstanding vision from the Kola Miritic, 12 rebounds, 26 points, and no assist more important than that fifth one he distributed to Brandon Day. Dante Exxon wheeling his way to the lane, he's got a two-pointer on the stick back. Off to need a miracle three to tie, they go to the Kola Miritic, lots of contact, no foul, Miritic is incensed, but the final buzzer has sounded, and it is right who have prevailed in a one-possession affair over their arch-rivals FC Barcelona. And in this latest instalment of El Clasico, Real Madrid overturned the dominance that FC Barcelona have enjoyed all campaign long. They came into this Final Four semi-final with five straight wins over their arch-rivals, but by the narrowest of margins in a one-possession encounter, it is Real Madrid who have prevailed by three